Hey Sagittarius, how are you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your general tarot reading for the month of November 2024. We're going to take a look and see what messages are coming in for you guys in love, romance, and partnership, okay? Um, Sagittarius, this is for you, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements, okay? Um, you could be a Sagittarius, your person could be a Sagittarius, please do take it how it resonates and leave the rest, do not force it to fit, okay? If you're looking for a personal love tarot reading, you're in luck, certainly you could visit me on my website or Etsy and book a reading there. I do have some special sales and promotions going on right now you may want to take advantage of like share comment subscribe let me know how this reading resonates for you and let's just jump right in okay Sagittarius we're gonna start off with the challenge and I have my epiphany oracle deck right here in hand all right what's going on with my sweet Sagittarius what's happening over the next several weeks well into November 2024 what's going on love romance whomever they're thinking about or dealing with what's happening here um first card out we have dark night of the soul so someone here could be going through a dark night of the soul energy right doing some shadow work maybe um there could have been something that happened where it's like someone is coming to their senses right there's some kind of enlightenment some kind of light bulb moment um i even feel like there's something like where someone's like really like digging deep they're they're having some kind of divine intervention here um we also have passion and desire is still alive and soul mirroring, exposing, and revealing all, okay? Some of you guys are dealing with your twin flame with this energy, right? Things are hot and spicy and passionate, right? But then there's a lot of difficulties and a lot of challenges, right? This is someone that mirrors you, right? They could be showing you a side of, you know, a side of yourself that you've never seen before, right? It's literally like holding a mirror up to you. So I'm feeling a twin flame energy. Some of you guys are dealing with your twin flame here for sure, okay? Um, there could be a lot of physical attraction, but also deep, deep, strong, like that strong soul connection, right? So yeah, let's check you guys out, Sagittarius. Give me the recent past. Someone here may be wanting to apologize in the past because I saw the page of cups trying to come out. Okay. In my pre-shuffling energy, someone may have been wanting to say, I'm sorry, maybe wanting your forgiveness, Sagittarius. Maybe they did something here, right? So let's find out more. Tower wanted to come out, flipping over me. <laughs> All right. In the recent past, we have the five of pentacles, the ace of pentacles, and the hermit. Virgo energy. So in the past, there's an energy of something here that was very promising. At least it appeared that it was very promising, very strong and stable. Maybe this is someone that promised you the world. We're going to do this together, right? We're better together than, than apart. This is someone that may have offered an opportunity, right? Stability. This is a commitment. However, I feel like there's an the energy of someone going silent, going ghost, the hermit. Maybe someone felt like, you know what? I need space. I need to be alone. Okay. The hermit is like maybe someone distancing themselves, retreating, right? Going to their little safe space or safe haven. So there could have been something like that happened where Sagittarius, you didn't recognize this person. You don't know what happened. They disappeared. Five of Pentacles, they may have left you out in a cold. They may have made you feel like, you know, you weren't good enough. They may have made you feel like you were in this place of lack or needy, right? You, you could have been feeling like you were begging for this person's attention, time, energy. Um, now, the current energy, Sagittarius, is the lovers. So there is a decision that has to be made right now. Um, Gemini energy definitely feels like a twin flame again coming out. Um, but the lovers is a is a is some kind of decision where someone has um to decide like what are we gonna do are we gonna come together or not right um the judgment there's that decision making finality king of wands okay so this could be you Sagittarius maybe you're having to make the decision you're having to really decide on what you really want what you're passionate about what you want to give to and what you don't want to give to right action movement um the judgment is final right so whatever this is is like a final say like this is what I'm doing and I'm not looking back. So it tells me that there's a big, big important decision that is going to be made and it's going to really change the course of this connection. 
when I look at your person's energy, we have the Six of Cups. So this is someone that you go way back with, you know, a lot of memories, a lot of experiences, someone that you really had a deep emotional bond with. You cared about them. They cared about you, right? You dream about them. Um, they dream about you. There's a lot of reflecting going on. And also, you know, this is your person's energy. So something tells me that your person is thinking about um, some kind of idea of reconciling with you, um, especially if you are apart. We have the chariot, the queen of pentacles in reverse, the ten of swords crossed by the king of pentacles. So we have the king and queen of pentacles, definitely divine connection. All right. One person's coming out in reverse. So there could be some kind of um, a situation here where someone sees stability and the other person doesn't. You know, you, you guys are kind of like, like opposites attract right now, right? Um, but, you know, same energies, right? Pentacles is telling me that you both, um, this is your divine partner, right? And it also tells me the chariot, this could be cancer. Someone here wants a victory. They want to achieve something. They want to accomplish something. They want to move forward. They, they see an opportunity forward. And maybe that's where that decision comes in. Someone has to make a decision in order for something to really take off and be successful, uh, however, the Ten of Swords is telling me there is a, a lot of um, damage here, right? Maybe something has fallen apart. Maybe something here ended, right? Ended abruptly. It ended and you didn't see it coming. It feels to me like there's the energy of trying to get past this, trying to overcome this, trying to recover from whatever ending that you and your person has experienced, right? So yeah, it does tell me that maybe you guys have been on a break, the hermit, right? You've been doing a lot of deep thinking. Maybe they've gone through this dark night of the soul energy, right? Um, I get a sense that with the chariot, someone is now ready to move forward. They're now ready to change things up. Um, and they're thinking about you. They're reflecting, you know, on the connection, on their feelings for you, and they may want to reconcile. Let's take a look as to how things are going to move forward, the outcome. Seven of Cups, so there's a little bit of confusion. Your person may not be very clear about how you feel for them. You know, someone's feelings may be up in the air. This can also have, you know, have to do with other people, exercising many different options in love. King of Swords and the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, so I definitely feel like someone has to be crystal clear. Like, be very clear about how you feel about the other person because someone doesn't feel the love. Someone doesn't feel like, you know, you really care about me. You're not showing me um, how much you care. So there's the energy of like being honest, being truthful, being intentional. There also could be a situation where there is some confusion. Maybe there's another person in the vicinity, right? In someone's energy. Maybe there's a third party with the Queen of Cups. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, it also could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone has to be very honest about what they want and who they want. Someone needs to eliminate the confusion because I definitely feel like there's illusions here as to, you know, what's really going to happen. Like, where do I stand, you know? All right, let's take a look. Maybe Sagittarius, in order for you to make a decision, you need this person to be honest and be truthful, to be forthcoming and right? transparent about what they want, especially if it has to do with someone else. So let's take a look. Let's jump right in and clarify. Let me know how this resonates for you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, my sweet Sagittarius. Thank you for your love and support on my channel. We're going to start off with the soul mirroring card in a dark night of the soul, okay? Again, that twin button twin flame energy coming out in this reading very very strongly and we have the death card which is a scorpio um for some of you guys you are dealing with the scorpio but this also signifies change right sometimes uncomfortable change sometimes change that you're not even prepared for and that's kind of what's happening here the dark night of the soul is bringing a lot of change to the connection but i feel like in the end it, it's necessary right so don't be surprised with the death, something ends, something here completely turns over, right? Someone um, has a completely different way of thinking. Give me the recent past. And maybe that's why the hermit is, right? You know, an ending. Maybe someone needs a moment to think about what they want, what's important. Six of Pentacles came out in reverse. We have the sun in reverse, big Leo energy, and the magician in reverse. Gemini and Leo, it could be done with a Gemini or Leo. Someone in the past was oblivious or not seeing things very clearly. They were blinded. They were blinded to, to seeing how much happiness, how much harmony they can have with you. Someone here was not manifesting what you ultimately were manifesting at the time with, with this magician, okay? I also, someone here could have been a little bit of a trickster. I feel like they were giving you less than with the Six of Pentacles. They were not reciprocating enough. And, you know, I feel like someone was blinded. Um, you also may have given to this person, Sagittarius, because you really loved and cared for them, but you didn't see how they shortchanged you. 
I feel like you were not aware, okay? Um, so yeah, I feel like that energy that happened in the past. And I also feel like, you know, again, you didn't see that hermit coming. You didn't see this person maybe all of a sudden retreating, all of a sudden going ghost, all of a sudden silencing you. Give me the energy right now. We have the lovers and the judgment. A big decision that has to be made. Page of Pentacles in the verse. The judgment came out again in the Ace of Cups. So someone here may be wanting to make an offer, an offer to have some kind of new opportunity the renewal energy with the ace of cups a new beginning in love someone still loves you but i also feel like the judgment it's entirely up to you sagittarius what you want to do you may be you know judging this person because of the history you have with this person maybe you're not seeing them in the same way so there's a decision you're having to make you're having to be final you have to be very clear about what you want um and it could be regarding a renewal um, or addressing some kind of missed opportunity you have with this person here, right? The Ace of Cups, addressing a missed opportunity. So let's take a look. Six of Cups in a Chariot. Your person obviously wants to overcome something, move things forward. Page of Cups, there it is. It showed up in my pre-shuffling as well. So someone here definitely wants to apologize, may want to extend um, an apology. They want your forgiveness, but I don't think it's that easy. This could be your energy. Um, you know, the Knight of Wands tells me there is an opportunity where something can move forward, but someone may be having to uh, take action, right? Do something, step out of their comfort zone. Um, this is the energy of moving, moving forward, right? Uh, desire, passion. So I almost feel like for some of you guys, you know, it's a passion still there, okay? It feels like, you know, the Page of Cups in a verse, there could be an apology here that you're having to like, you know, do I really forgive them or not? Maybe you're having to make a decision if you do forgive them. Um, but the Knight of Wands almost tells me that there's still passion. There's something about this connection that is very different. And the Chariot is telling me you may be even seeing an opportunity where something could be successful. Give me how things could move forward. The Moon. Eight of Wands in a verse and the, the King of Cups. So yeah, there's a caution energy here where it's like... There's something here, Sagittarius, that may be hidden from you. And you're having to really, like, assess it, dig deep, right? Find out more information. Because I do feel like there could be things that are hidden. The moon is secretive. It's hidden behind the scenes, closed doors, behind in, in the dark, right? And with the Eight of Wands in the verse, it could be something that is not being communicated to you, okay? Whatever is hidden, it also could... Um, you know, in some way, keep you from wanting to move forward with this person. So that's kind of what I'm seeing here. So you're having to really take caution to that. But I do feel like the love is there. At the end of the day, you both have deep, deep, strong love for each other. And I think that could be enough along with the passion and excitement you have for this person to want to move things forward. So there is an opportunity with the Ten of Swords in reverse where there's recovery, you know, getting over a really difficult um, hump, you know. Give me the energy of what's coming in. Seven of Cups. Some confusion maybe regarding another person. Six of Swords. You, you both are resolving that. Nine of Wands and a Temperance in a verse. It's going to take time, right? That's you, Sagittarius. You may be feeling a little bit uneasy. Maybe you're a little bit anxious and unsure, hesitant. But at the end of the day, Six of Swords, I feel, you know, this is someone that you really want to make peace with. There's making amends. There's moving into cool, calm waters with the Six of Swords. It's resolving things, right? It's moving uh, away from troubles and challenges. With the Nine of Wands, it tells me that you both still want this. You both still desire this. You both still want to put in your energy and you're determined to make something work. And that is what's going to move things forward ultimately, right? So yeah, prepare for some kind of ending shift transformation with regard to this connection i feel like where it is right now is not where it's going to be in a whole nother month or so okay sagittarius let me know how this resonates for you i am curious like share comment and subscribe and i'll check you guys out soon take care